I'm live. Forget you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hello, BookTube. So, this video is gonna be the video where I do my January, no, no it's not, my February TBR. So, a February TBR, if you did not know, is all of the books that I plan to read in the month of January. I meant to say February. I am currently filming this on the 25th, I believe, of January. So I have not finished this reading month. So some of these books still may change around depending on what I managed to fit in in the last week. But hopefully these are the books that I'll be getting to in February. And I have decided to start doing a TBR jar. Apart from, I don't have a jar and I could not be bothered to write down that many books and put it in a jar. So I have just decided to go on my trusty spreadsheet where I have a list of every book I own and then just stick it into a random generator and choose one out. So let's get into it. So currently I am reading the Throne of Glass series. So I intend in February to read the next book. So the next book in the series is Queen of Shadows, which is the fourth book. And I'm not sure whether I will have started this. I'm pretty sure I won't have finished this by the time it is February, but I may have started it. So this might be in my TBR for February, probably will already be reading it. But I have also included Empire of Storms just in case. So this is the sixth, no, fifth book. So hopefully these two books will be finished, done in February. So once I have read Queen of Whatever and Empire of Whatever, I hope to then read A Heart So Fierce and Broken. Is that what it's called? Yes, A Heart So Fierce and Broken. So this is the follow up to A Curse So Dark and Lonely. And these books look so goddamn beautiful together on my shelf. Honestly, I love it. This is following different character, a character we have already met in the first book, but wasn't focused on. We are following their story in this book. I'm not saying anything else. That's all I'm gonna say, but I am so excited because I bloody love that character. Honestly, they were my favorite character from the first book. So I'm really glad that they get their own book. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to read this. So after I have read that, I intend to read I Am Number Four by Pitka's Law. This has been raved about by Jade from Jodie Ray Reads and that is why I bought it. It really is not my genre, it does not sound like my cup of tea, but she said it was one of her favourites so I wanted to give it a go. So after I have read that, I intend on reading another book which was recommended again by Jade from Jodie Ray Reads and that is Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. This is quite a short book so I'm definitely thinking that this will be read in February, it won't take me a lot of time. Um, so this is the first book in a trilogy, but Jade said that this can be read as a standalone. I think I do intend on reading the trilogy. So I literally just got like halfway through filming this video and then my camera just cut out randomly. So now I have to start again and I'm really annoyed. Ugh. I'm so bad at these TBRs, aren't I? Like I'm really not good at this. So I decided I was going to do a TBR jar. So if you didn't know how a TBR jar works, you have a jar with all of your books that you have not read in that jar and then you pick one out and that is the book that you are going to read. So I decided I was gonna do that, but then I couldn't find a jar and I couldn't be bothered to write down all of the books I own on a piece of paper. So what I did is I, I have a spreadsheet that lists all of the books that I own because I like to keep track of what I've read and what I've not read um, and the percentage and stuff. I'm that kind of person. So I already have them. So I'm just gonna copy and paste them all into like a list generator app and then see what that picks out. And then that is what is going to be on my TBR. So let's do that together. But let's get my brick of a laptop. Right, control C, online list picker, control V. That's better, okay. Pick a random item. So, you can't really see it. What's it come up with? It says the winner is, come on, 
five feet apart. Can you see that? <sighs> yes, five feet apart. So let me go and grab that off my bookshelf. So Five Feet Apart is by Rachel Lippincott. It also says with Mickey Daughtry and Tobias Iaconis. So this is a book that I've wanted to read for a while because I've wanted to watch the film, but again, read the book before we watch the film. Um, so this is about two people with, is it cystic fibrosis? I believe. Um, and they're both waiting for lung transplants, two people in the hospital, and they have to stay six feet apart at all times because if they get an infection, it could damage um, their health and their availability for the transplant. Um, and then they both meet and fall in love. And I think the bottom, it says, um, will five feet apart really be so dangerous if it stops their hearts from breaking too? So yeah, this is a book that I'm really excited has come up. So there you have it. They are all the books that I intend to read in February. Leave me a comment down below if you have already read. Why do my words not working? Leave a comment down below if you have read any of these books and let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe, it would be great. So yeah, I will see you next week for my next video. Bye, 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 bye